I've closed the door so you can hear me over the wind. <laughs> so these are tomatoes. I planted them out in a wee lane. I watched a really interesting video on Instagram, YouTube, something. And the girl, what she did was she had her tomatoes all planted out in a big, big, big lane. And she took into them with a with a plastic rod and she tossed them all. And then she said a couple of weeks later you toss them again. And it strengthens them, but whenever I put these in, I kind of tossed them by accident, so <laughs> accidentally did some good gardening. And then I was looking, these are more radishes I've planted, I'm not sure if I've shown that or not. Um, I think that's either a courgette or a cucumber, someone can tell me. Or it'll have grown enough. And then look at this. That's a slug. That's a big slug. He's right beside the blue moulded slug pellets, so... They're doing a lot of good. I need to slug pad up the whole thing again. Because some rotters eating stuff. Look at this leaf where he's been at. It's annoying. <laughs> so I, he's in my new wee baby radishes coming. These ones are ready to pull, so I'm going to pull a bunch of them now. Uh, beetroot's doing really well. Uh, pass. That could be, I don't know what that is, I think it's a weed actually, because that's meant to be onion. And that could be just grass, I have no idea. <laughs> Those are carrots anyway, they're, they're doing well. This is the sort of dead area, and you can see nothing is really coming. I have no idea if that's a currant bush or a weed, I'll not know until it gets up a bit. And those are meant to be beans, so that's a weed. Strawberries are... <laughs> Not quite sure they should be growing upwards. I would prefer if they grew outwards and filled the pots, but as long as they're not dying, I'm happy. Um, and I have put down more plastic here, just finished my greenhouse. So, all nicely, all nicely sorted. And then I'll take the outside because there's something I want to show you outside. You actually see that field is nearly yellow with flowers class and um, so as you can see potatoes are doing really well <clears throat> those ones are doing really well too I forgot to strim this apparently I now have to and <laughs> um, more potatoes more potatoes these are my peas as you can see they've started some of them have started to flower which is class and then whenever they, um, I think whenever they finish flowering, then they'll start shooting out peas, pods even. <clears throat> My rhubarb is still pretty dead. I have no idea if it'll grow back or not. This one wee palm tree over here, doing really well. He's loving life. And this wee guy's all brown. Not so good. Um, the thing I wanted to show you is this. So these are my two apple trees that I'm pretty sure my granddad grew. <laughs> so it's not just today or yesterday that they're planted, but look at the amount of flowers, the leaves they leave in the ground. Like this is the duck's pond. <laughs> That's class. All right. I'll leave it like that, and I'll come back in another wee one. Whenever I do some more stuff. Kinda happy with how most of them's growing, it's just these ones over here's cut. They actually look a bit dry, which is really not on because it rained today like three times. <laughs> so I think from the last time these tomatoes have cropped up again. <laughs> I've just watered them so they're all kinda lying down, but I've put another bag here and cut it open and put two row of tomatoes in it and they've they kind of fell in with the watering as well. Radishes are still there. I thinned them a bit by eating a few. I have no idea if that actually is a courgette or a cucumber. But I'm going to let it grow because nothing else has grown in that pot. Um, this is my beetroot. Okay. I want you to remember that. Um, that's pretty sure that's just weeds. That's my carrots. 
This is all dead. This is my strawberries. As you can see, there's one there starting to come. There's one here starting to come, so that's nice. And a couple of wee strawberries coming. They're growing upwards rather than out, which I don't think is a thing. But anyway, yeah, my beetroot. And then my uncle gave me this here beetroot. I planted it out here and Meg took in and started digging, but thank you, Uncle Ivan. Um, <laughs> it's a pity Meg didn't think, think much of it. <laughs> and then this is my cauliflower. It's huge now, really, really tall. Um, nothing else has really changed out here other than me needing to um, do a bit of strimming. I'll leave it in the video in. Those I believe the plants are absolutely huge. That's crazy. And then these ones that got frost damage, they are doing absolutely nothing for me. And those ones that got covered a couple of times, they're enormous as well. Awesome. So it's been another couple of days. I just watered them so they're all lying down. <laughs> I do think the whole strengthening thing, there's something to that, because these ones here, like, look at how thick the stem is on them, and I've... I know they probably get a bit more abuse than the rest, so it, it has definitely helped some of them. You know, my sweet corn, they're doing really well. These are my tomatoes, tomatoes, beans, something at that one. Not these slugs, the little rotters. Um, that's more radishes coming. Those are more tomatoes. Those are more tomatoes. That's my single cabbage, I want to say. This is broccoli over here. This is more tomatoes. Tomatoes along there. These are radishes again. They're starting to grow up. I'm going to let some of them go to seed. Because the seed pods are really nice if anyone's never had them. Beetroot again. Uh, that is... It's either cucumber or courgette. I'm pretty sure it is something. But someone else can tell me. Carrots are doing really well, they're super tall. Uh, strawberries are absolutely loaded with little tiny green uh, strawberries now. And the thing I'm most excited about, well actually, I'm before the, this is cauliflower. Doing really well. That's my beetroot that Meg dug at. Hey, this is my potatoes. And there's a bit of a story here actually. So these ones are the ones that were planted in bags of compost. And this is the one that I absolutely broke myself digging. And they were planted nearly a week later. They're nearly twice the height. And now I know some of these got hit with frost, but not very many of them. And it's it's no comparison like so. I'm gonna have to get in the 35 and the plow or something for next year to because that is unbelievable the difference. I'll tell better when it's harvesting time, but... And I still haven't strimmed or anything. But anyway, this is the part I'm really excited about. So there's been loads and loads of flowers. Little flowery peas. And I spotted... Where was it now? I spotted my first pod. Um, there. Look at that. How cool is that? So I'm going to have these soon hopefully and then I had this is really annoying I had one rhubarb coming through oh actually he's still there okay I couldn't see him earlier <laughs> for good reason because he's been he's been munched on and this little plum tree here I don't know what happened to him but he soon looks like he's dying the other one has started putting out these little red leaves Really pretty, really good sign. And the apple trees have lost all their leaves now, so they'll start putting out wee apples soon, so class. I'm really excited for that. And I'm thinking we're gonna have loads and loads of I think this is gooseberry by the look of them, if it would ever focus. There's gonna be loads of them. And there's black currants there. I'm not sure if I, I can't get close enough because it's all nettles. <laughs> That's more gooseberries. 
It's class, I can actually tell what they are now. Oh, actually, yeah, those are gooseberries. Those are... Maybe I've got them mixed up. I don't know. Hmm. I guess I'll know whenever they start changing brown. I would have thought those were blackberries, but... Maybe I've got them mixed about. Don't know. Be able to help soon. There's a snail in that one. Class. Look at him. Cheeky. Yeah, I, I don't know what these are to be honest. <laughs> I know my current bushes didn't grow though. So. Might be worthwhile stealing some of the seeds out of these because they're doing really well. But yeah, I think. Next year we're going to have to do some more potatoing. Ah, I'll know more at harvest time, but super excited about my peas. It's going to be class. All right, thanks. Oh, and my, my grapevine. Oh, I forgot, I keep on forgetting about it because you never really look up. And the grapevine's put out loads of these here. Little, little grapey boys. There's another bunch. Another bunch. You get, you get ten or twenty kilos of grapes out of them through the year. You get like fifty bunches out of them. They're class. They're really nice, really sweet, but they do have seeds, so you just have to be careful when you're eating them. All right then, I think that's enough for one video anyway. <laughs> Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Cheers.